Hello, this is Christoph Schwarz from Click. I'm really not the number one expert in end printing, but I had to figure out for a client how to do office charts within a PowerPoint. And I'm going to create a new PowerPoint report. Uh, it's going to be a sense application in the back. So while this report is creating, uh, it's worth to have a look into the objects in the app, which one we're going to export. And to note down, um, either you have a good headline in the object, like here, total revenue by group. If you don't have that and you were lazy giving it uh, meaningful titles, you might want to find out the ID. So I found it very useful to use a simple extension called set object state. You can throw it on the page and uh, we will remove it later. But this little icon here on the right gives you the IDs just next to it so if i want to keep this id it's going to copy it in here i can copy it to the clipboard and i'm sure that this id is referring to this bar chart so let's uh, go back to my imprinting where i have the report uh, i click on edit template it's going to launch the local installation of the imprinting designer and i will add this table now. So I'm clicking on add object. I search for the ID that I had pasted. Yeah, it, uh, of course I need to look into the right connection. So it's the executive dashboard that I have defined before. Um, yes, please use this table. And you can see I can use the table as a whole um, in one tag. Um, and if I do so and hit preview, I'm just getting a PowerPoint table, which is not that nice. Uh, it's not that what we're finally want to do, but um, just to give you a quick idea. So it's the data behind that chart. So um, we don't want the table as a uh, as one thing. I want to give a nice title, um, and then we hit on insert chart. This is going to be a PowerPoint chart, of course. So uh, let's use a bar chart. And what it opens now is a in embedded Excel. Now you are exactly in the same mode as you would do when you're doing an Excel report. So just throw the axis in the right place. So this is my uh, product group. This is my revenue. This is going to go here. Don't worry about this angle of brackets. The rest can be removed. And the data area that is marked here in this frame needs to be reduced to really one column and one title and this can be revenue so only the angular brackets will be replaced as soon as i hit preview with real values so let's make this uh, a little smaller and hit preview so you get the idea let's put one more here and this time uh, I would like to get a line chart, for example, this average sales per day. So same thing this time. So going back to the designer, um, I want to get the table for average sales per day. So since I have a title, I can find it by searching for sales per day or of course by the ID. So that's exactly the object I want. Average sales per day, same principle, but this time we're going to create a line chart, an office line chart. And it opened again an embedded Excel. So same principle as before, year month is going to go into the first place. There is only one data series in this chart, which is this average, uh, whatever sales per, per month. Um, so reduce this and to mark only the first area, call this whatever you like, close the embedded Excel. Yeah, put it side by side. And now we are running the report once again. And it's going to paint us the data behind the chart and rendered with a PowerPoint. And that's that's quite uh, a good feature because now you can do office charts 
uh, with uh, uh, sense data in the back. And with that, um, I wish you happy report creation time with imprinting 17 and later. Thank you.